It's Friday. That means it's time for Mitchell's Movie Minute with our very own Julian Mitchell. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. I know I look all spiffy here you for Movie nice. Minute. This you is look only, nice. You look know, nice. Had to shoot some things before this, so I think you look great. Already great, yeah. dressed and ready to go. I like it. I like it. So we have some movies to talk about yes. this week. Yes. Which movies did you just see? We got a couple in here. I got a couple from Netflix too, so people can go and stream these. Okay. And then one I tried to get a little more kid friendly. There's not too many kid friendly movies out just yet. No sure. wishes out. I'm gonna see Wonka this weekend. So oh, okay. We'll, we'll have to save that. I didn't even know that. there's a new Willy Wonka. Yeah, Timothy Chalamet. Come oh on. wow, that that's very fitting. Mm-hmm. So it should be interesting. He's a good Wonka. Okay. <laughs> should be interesting, but uh, I got some kind of adult, some more big picture um, Oscar, maybe some movies in oh, here. So okay. let's start here with May December. This is a new film from director Todd Haynes. It stars Natalie Portman, Julia Moore, and Charles Melton of Riverdale fame. This movie, inspired <laughs> by Mary Kay Letourneau, follows actress Elizabeth Berry played by Portman, who's set to play Julia Moore's Gracie in a biopic. Now Gracie, when she was 36, began a relationship with Joe, who Charles Melton plays when he was in seventh grade. Now Gracie and Joe, 20 years later, are happily married with children. Portman's character comes and starts to pull things apart at the seams from uh, this relationship and the way their family is made up. This film's really interesting. I don't know if it's for everyone, but the way it explores scandal, our relationship to a story like this, and the fact that it's not a story you should really maybe do a movie about, mm -hmm. but yet this is a movie that a big-time actress is trying to do. It's fairly interesting. I, I don't know if I necessarily loved the film, um, but I thought it was really interesting. And this is a movie that's going to be up for some awards, I'm okay. sure. Melton definitely in the race for a supporting actor. I thought he's fantastic in this, which I don't know if anybody would think, watching Riverdale and seeing him here, but sure. he's absolutely terrific. I think he could end up in a, a Best Picture race, too. I don't know if it'll win. That's interesting. Because in on Riverdale, race. I was like, hmm. I mean, he didn't really have a main role on Riverdale. He was yeah. just along for the ride. So. But he's fantastic here and playing someone who is a grown grown man now, grown up, and yet is kind of uh, emotionally stuck at the age he was when those events happened. So it's really interesting so to play that dynamic. when you watch a movie and you see how the characters evolve, do you decide, okay, that he could be up for an award, or do you go do some research and say what other people are saying too? Kind of a little bit of both. Because I don't I, think I would ever see a movie and I would be way off with what other people are saying. Well, you could be, but I think at the same time too, you can tell when you're watching a movie who's capturing the screen. Okay. Who's the person you want to look at? And that's kind of, I think, how movie stars, the top actors, like you think of Leonardo DiCaprio, I think Margot Robbie is one now. You see them, you're like, oh, I'm in. Okay. I will watch what they do. My eyes don't leave them on the screen. So I think that kind of can make that. But I do think too, there are these subtle performances that sure. I think some more critics kind of yeah. pick up on a little bit more. It's fun, we should have you do a little Pre one like right now to see <laughs> see how you plays out in I, February. I'd be so good about it. You would be good. <laughs> All right, next up. Yes, this is another next Netflix film. We got Leave the World Behind. More of a thriller. This stars Julia Roberts, Ethan Hawke, Mahershala Ali, Mahala Harold. Roberts and Hawke play a married couple, takes their kids on a family vacation. Due to a blackout, Ali and Harold end up staying with the family. More disturbing things continue to happen. They all search for answers as the world starts kind of coming apart around them, and they're trying to pick up information as to what's going on. It's kind of a d disaster flick, um, world coming apart, figuring things out. Uh, and if I'm being honest, didn't like it too much. Okay. Uh, there's some fun elements, but for it being a kind of a disaster film, some of the events that take place are not necessarily jarring, big, or entertaining enough in my mind. Uh, but I don't want to say too much, though. This movie is a thriller. It's kind of a um, breadcrumb movie. Pick up things as you go didn't figure out the whole picture. Sure. Um, so I'm really interested to see the conversations that might come from this. The ending is um, pretty pretty unique. Okay, will, and that's on Netflix that. right now. It's on Netflix as well. Okay, mm -hmm. check that one out. Yes, yes. Lastly, this is a more younger, viewer-friendly film. Uh, I'll have some more next weekend, as I said. Wonka this okay. weekend. Here's The Boy and the Heron. This is a new film from director Hayao Miyazaki. It's animated, anime. Follows a 12-year-old boy, Mahito, who after his mother's death, his father takes him to a new town. And a heron there and comes and tells him his mother is alive. So the young boy goes on a magical adventure to save her and then his new stepmom as well. So this is, if you've seen Spirited Away, uh, Princess Mononoke, any other movies from Miyazaki, this studio, Studio Ghibli. Um, similar themes, similar ideas here, fantastical world, magical creatures. Um, and this movie, I found kind of the overall plot of it a little confusing for me. Okay. Um, so it's not my favorite of his films, but it's absolutely gorgeous to look at. The okay. worlds he can create, if you've seen The Spirit Away, those kind of movies, Ponyo as well. Sure. Uh, it's fantastic. And that's in theaters. That is in theaters. I saw that one at Pops. I believe okay. it's at Marky's as well. Um, so a really good one. To check How out. are things going at Pops? 
Pretty good, pretty good. I stop in there kind of frequently to see some things. I saw um, Anatomy of a Fall, which is another okay. movie that might be up for a, awards in that Oscar race. So they have some really good things there, some interesting movies if you want to go out and see okay. something a little bit different. In Rochester. All right, busy mm -hmm. night tonight in sports. Oh, yeah, a lot of great basketball games. The Santa Hat Tournament, Mayo Civic Center, that's kicked okay. off today. Day one, finals will be tomorrow. You wearing your Santa hat when you're covering that? I should get one. I have a Twins one and a Vikings one on my desk. I'll let you borrow. Okay, perfect. I'll let perfect. you borrow. Thank you. <laughs> Much more to come on Midwest Access just a little bit before the 5 o'clock news. We're going to answer your question of the day. We'll be right back.